Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use the magic mouse that you see right over here. This will be a full tutorial for beginner gestures, so let's get right into the video. As you can see, this is a magic mouse, an Apple magic mouse to be specific, and I'm gonna show you how to use it, which is gonna include some basic functionality and then also some beginner gestures. There are many gestures that you can use with the mouse, but these are just some ones, some easy ones, I should say, to get started with. So first and foremost, how do you turn it on and off? When you flip it over and you look at the bottom, there's a little switch right here, it's kind of hidden because it blends in with the color until you turn it on. When you see that green, you know that it's uh, turned on and it's powered on. So that's how to turn it on and that's how to turn it off. Very simple and straightforward. Next, I wanna talk about how to charge it. Once again, on the bottom, there's actually a lightning port right over here. So you can use your lightning cable to plug it in directly to the mouse and charge it up. Now there's no light on here that indicates um, that it's charging. So you have to check the battery level on your computer via Bluetooth connection to see the charge level and that'll tell you sort of the indication as to how much of a charge it needs to get to 100% or what the current charge level is. But that's how to charge it. Really, really easy to do. I, I don't have my lightning cable with me, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it that it plugs right into there. And obviously, if you take a look at it, you can see that it does indeed plug into there. You can sort of see the port over there, okay? Very simple and straightforward, okay? How to connect it as a Bluetooth device to your computer? Well, it's really, really easy to do. Um, basically, if you have a Mac, it connects in a matter of seconds. You just have to make sure that the Bluetooth has been turned on. You turn on the magic mouse, and literally, like, you just connect it via Bluetooth. It takes a matter of a few seconds. I don't have a Mac with me right here. I'm in my basement bathroom filming this because my wife is upstairs um, sort of uh, I was gonna say manning the fort but that's a bad term to use in this situation she's uh, holding down the fort all of the kids are asleep she's watching some TV and I'm in my basement bathroom because my voice is really loud but in here it's decently insulated so they can't really hear me up there because there's a few sets of doors before you get to the upstairs main area so I don't have a Mac with me in the bathroom although sometimes I wish I did <laughs> that's a bad joke anyways um, so I can't really show you how to connect it but I can tell you and I did tell you so we're gonna move forward. Next, I wanna talk about how to move it around, okay? So essentially, when it's turned on, uh, there's basically like a laser under here, I think, for the most part. I think it's a laser. And when you move it around, it's gonna track the cursor on the computer. Very simple. To click, uh, to left click, you just click the button. To right click, you hold control down on the keyboard. So you hold down the control button on the keyboard, and then you click the button. And that's equivalent to a right click, okay? Very, very easy. Now, next, I wanna talk about the gestures. So these are just five super easy gestures to sort of get you started, okay? So number one is to swipe left with one finger and that will bring you to the previous page, okay? So if I'm on a web page, let's say, and I wanna go back, I can take one finger and I can swipe left. And I'm not talking about clicking and swiping, it's literally just a swipe left like that. So just take one finger, any finger actually, as long as it's only one finger and swipe left. That'll take you to the previous page. Gesture number two that I want to talk about is to swipe right with one finger to go to the next page. So it's the same thing that I just said, but basically the opposite. We're going to swipe right and that's going to go to the next page. Um, whether you're dealing with a web page or any other type of page on your computer, you swipe right and that brings you to the next page. Gesture number three that I wanted to deal with was to double tap with one finger and that will zoom in and out quickly. So if you're looking at a PDF or a website, a web page, anything of that nature, um, you can double tap quickly with one finger and when you double tap with one finger, it will zoom in and out, uh, which will allow you to get a better view of whatever it is that you're reading, okay? Moving forward to easy gesture number four, which is to double tap with two fingers and that will actually launch the mission control panel and mission control app to see all of the open apps that you're dealing with and all of the settings and controls and stuff like that. So double tap with two fingers and that will quickly bring up the mission control portion of your computer. Just like that, two finger double tap and you're not double clicking because that's gonna actually click. You're just double tapping. And you have to get used to the fact that when you tap, if you tap a little bit too hard, it's gonna click. So you have to tap very lightly. And I don't like to tap with like the, the tip of my finger because that makes it more likely to click because of the pressure. I like to tap with sort of the, the, the padding of my finger down here. It just makes it a little bit less likely to actually click because you don't wanna actually accidentally click something, okay? So once again, number four was to double tap with two fingers. Okay, and when you double tap on two fingers, it's gonna launch the Mission Control app to let you control all of your open apps and open programs and software and blah, 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 stuff like that. The last gesture that I wanted to talk about is gesture number five, which is to swipe left or swipe right 
with two fingers, and that will essentially move back and forward uh, through all of your uh, full screen apps. So essentially, if I have two fingers and I swipe left, it's gonna move backwards, okay, through all of my full screen apps that I'm dealing with. And if I swipe right with two fingers, it's gonna move forward. So you can sort of, if you're dealing with multiple apps back and forth, you can swipe left or swipe right just to go back and forth between them, just to sort of uh, quickly move between apps. It also saves you from having to move your mouse around all the time because if you know you just wanna switch between apps, you can just swipe left with two fingers or swipe right with two fingers. And it makes it a lot easier and a lot more efficient. It just improves the workflow. And that's it. If you like this video tutorial on how to use the mouse, Magic Mouse, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.